China has just achieved something that was once considered impossible. SMIC, the Chinese chip maker, long hampered by stringent U.S. sanctions, has now revealed a fully functional 2 nanometer chip. This breakthrough is not just a small step forward, it's a monumental shift that could dramatically reshape the global technology landscape. The pressing question is whether the United States is already too late to stop China's rapid ascent in the semiconductor industry. What's happening here is nothing short of revolutionary. Just a few months after being cut off from access to extreme ultraviolet lithography EUV technology, the gold standard for creating the most advanced chips, SMIC has defied expectations by developing a working 2 nanometer prototype. Even more striking is that they are gearing up for mass production which means this technology will soon move beyond the lab and into real-world applications. This development has sent shockwaves throughout the industry, leaving many experts around the world in disbelief. Few saw this coming, especially given the severe restrictions SMIC has faced. Meanwhile, the United States remains eerily quiet, perhaps scrambling behind closed doors to figure out how to respond to this challenge. Taiwan, home to the semiconductor powerhouse TSMC, is also feeling the mounting pressure. TSMC's lead in chip manufacturing, once thought to be unassailable, is now shrinking rapidly. The entire tech industry is watching anxiously, trying to understand how SMIC managed to pull off this feat despite crippling sanctions and technological barriers. Before we dive deeper into the technical details, a quick reminder. Subscribing to our channel helps us continue delivering these in-depth analyses and keeps you updated on the latest developments. So, why is a 2 nanometer chip such a game-changer? Nanometers measure the size of transistors, the tiny switches inside chips that perform calculations. The smaller these transistors, the more you can fit onto a chip, which translates to greater power and efficiency. Smaller transistors enable chips to handle demanding tasks, like artificial intelligence, with much more speed and less energy. To grasp just how small 2 nanometers is, consider that a human hair is roughly 80,000 nanometers thick. SMIC's achievement means they're packing the computing power of an entire city block into a space no larger than a neighborhood, pushing the boundaries of what was previously thought possible. When comparing with competitors, Apple's latest M3 chip, which powers its newest iPhones and MacBooks, runs on a 3 nanometer process, already an incredible technical accomplishment. TSMC, the Taiwanese firm behind Apple's chips, is also working on a 2 nanometer process, but has yet to start mass production. In contrast, SMIC has not only developed a functioning prototype, but is also actively preparing to scale up production. If SMIC succeeds in mass-producing 2 nanometer chips, they won't just catch up. They will. At the same time, U.S. chip makers like Intel are struggling to move beyond 7 nanometer chips, with 3 nanometer production still on the horizon. China's progress at 2 nanometers means the gap is closing rapidly. To put it metaphorically, while the U.S. is upgrading to a high-performance sports car, China is already testing a spacecraft. This development carries massive implications for the race in artificial intelligence, as two nanometer chips can process vast amounts of data at lightning-fast speeds, potentially giving China a huge advantage in AI development. This could affect everything from healthcare to national security, as AI technologies become integral to modern life. How did SMIC achieve this without access to EUV machines? EUV, or extreme ultraviolet lithography, is the cutting-edge technology that uses ultra-precise lasers to carve incredibly small circuits onto silicon wafers. These machines, produced exclusively by the Dutch company ASML, have been blocked from reaching SMIC due to U.S. sanctions. Without EUV, manufacturing chips at 2 nanometers was considered impossible. Yet, SMIC found a way. Their solution appears to involve deep ultraviolet lithography, WEV, an older, less precise technology that EUV replaced. Though not as sharp as EUV, WV can still produce advanced chips if combined with a technique called multi-patterning. Instead of a single precise exposure like EUV, SMIC uses multiple WV exposures to build up the intricate circuit patterns required for a 2 nanometer chip. This approach is slower and more complicated. Imagine sculpting with a dull chisel instead of a sharp one. But it works. If SMIC has truly mastered this method, they've transformed an outdated technology into a powerful tool, proving that innovation depends not only on having the latest equipment, but on how creatively you use the tools at hand. But the story doesn't end there. Huawei, another major Chinese technology titan, has faced similar sanctions and has been aggressively investing in chip research and development to reduce dependence on Western technology. 
Industry insiders suggest that ESMIC and Huawei may have formed a quiet partnership, pooling their resources and expertise. Huawei brings strong financial backing and R&D capabilities, while CIMIC offers manufacturing expertise. Together, they may have quietly cracked the code that allows China to push past Western restrictions and surge ahead in semiconductor technology. This breakthrough is also part of a broader push by China to achieve technological self-reliance. The country has been building an entire domestic supply chain for chips, sourcing everything from silicon wafers to chemicals and production equipment internally. This ecosystem reduces reliance on Western suppliers, allowing SMIC to sidestep many of the sanctions that have crippled their access to critical technology. It's like having your own kitchen where you control every ingredient, so you don't have to rely. Taken together, SMIC's achievement is a stunning example of innovation, perseverance, and strategic planning. They've combined older technology, an independent supply chain, and savvy workarounds to overcome what many considered insurmountable obstacles. This is not just a technical breakthrough, it signals the rise of a new era in global technology, where China is playing by its own rules. What remains to be seen is how the United States will respond. The stakes couldn't be higher. The rapid pace of China's technological advances has caught Washington off guard. The U.S. government has long used tech controls and sanctions as weapons to slow China's progress, blocking EU V sales, software, and more. But SMIC's leap forward challenges the effectiveness of these tactics, exposing the limits of American influence. Expect new and more aggressive sanctions as Washington tries to reassert control, potentially targeting China's entire domestic supply chain, or increasing pressure on Huawei. At the same time, this breakthrough threatens the dominance of American chip giants like NVIDIA, Intel, and Qualcomm. NVIDIA, the leader in AI chips, now faces a serious competitor if SMIC can mass-produce affordable 2-nanometer AI chips. Intel, still catching up with its 7-nanometer chips, risks becoming irrelevant if SMIC masters 2-nanometer production. Qualcomm, reliant on TSMC's advanced technology, could lose ground if SMIC's chips prove superior in speed, efficiency, and cost. The situation also presents enormous challenges for Taiwan and TSMC, which have long held the crown as the world's top chip manufacturer. If China can mass-produce two nanometer chips, TSMC's global dominance, and by extension Taiwan's economic security, could be severely threatened. This comes at a time when Taiwan is already under pressure from both Washington and Beijing, caught in a high-stakes geopolitical struggle with chip technology at its core. Ultimately, this isn't just a story about chips. It's about global power, influence, and the future of technology itself. Chips are the foundation of everything, from AI and smartphones to defense and military systems. If China becomes fully self-sufficient in chip technology, it could redefine global alliances and markets by providing cheaper, sanction-proof alternatives to Western products. The global balance of power in technology is shifting, and the United States is at risk of being left behind. This breakthrough is more than a technical milestone. It's a bold declaration that China is ready to rewrite the rules of the game and forge a new path toward technological independence and dominance. The world is watching, and the tremors from this seismic shift 